hello friends welcome to automationtalks.com uh, this is video 19 of this selenium tutorial series uh, myself prakash narkade and uh, today i am here with the video extracting all links from web page that is bulk extraction of objects using selenium web driver right now what this mean extracting all links what does this mean let me go to a demo web shop <laughs> now this is a website and a front page of the website and on this page you can see multiple links are present right this is link this is link this is link all are links again there are this is text box this is text box this is radio button one two three four right so there are four radio buttons on this um, uh, what I can say uh, web page there are two text boxes on this web page there are two uh, there there are three four search button one two three right and there are many links this is link 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 right there, there are many links right so so extracting all links right the all links can be your uh, href hyperlinks or that can be your checkboxes that can be your radio buttons that can be your buttons right so let us see how we can extract all links how we can get all links from the web page uh, that is the bulk extraction of objects objects is nothing but similar kind of objects that can be a links that can be a radio buttons checkboxes or text boxes let us see how this can be achieved now if you go to this page and if you go to any link suppose this is a link let us inspect it now you can see for for any link the tag name is a right if you see the, uh, can you see for this books tag name is a again for this computer tag name is a for the jewelry tag name is a for this wish list tag name is a yeah it is a over here right so tag name a is nothing but an anchor tag it is used to define a hyperlink that is a link right so what we can do is we can get the links we can get the links with tag name a into a list right so we need to use a concept of list over here right so let me create one class extract public void I'm giving some name to the test extract text and this is my test ng test now what what we are doing here? we will nav we will open a browser then we will navigate to URL then what we'll do we will uh, get the list get the links or objects collection of objects into a list then what we'll do is we will iterate the list it read the list means get the elements from the list right I'll explain one by one first let us open the browser for opening the browser let me take a this browser launch code from here <coughs> sorry so now I will navigate to this demo web shop fine so I have opened the Chrome browser 
then I am navigating to URL right and after navigating okay before navigating what I should do I should maximize my browser maximize my window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and I should also give the implicit weight fine so this is done now I have navigated now what I'll do is I have to get all the links so as I said links is nothing but a tag name a link is nothing but that is tag name a so what I can do is how I can get a um, links by tag name driver dot find in this case I need to use a find elements because I'm I'm capturing multiple elements right so this find elements is used to find all elements within the current page right and it is stored in a list list of uh, web elements so find web elements by I have to use now tag name because the tag name is common that is a which is a anchor right and where where should I store it it should be stored in a list of web elements and I have to give some name let us import this now what I have done is I have taken a uh, I have taken a elements find elements with a tag name a that is anchor tag anchor tag is nothing but the links into a list and the list is of type web element and the list name is ele list right? this is user defined name now what we can do is uh, we can get the size of this list so that we will come to know how many links are there so I'll just print this number of links present on web page is right so by using this statement I'll get to know I'll get to know number of links present on the uh, web page that is this list dot size size of the list right now I'll get the list now what I want to do is I want to iterate the list iterate the list means what in this list th there would be n number of links that is link for this 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 right and by using this list dot size I'll get number of links how many number of links are present on the web page I'll get that count right but if I want the but if I wanted to know the number of links I, I if I want the number of links not number of links exact links wh which and all are the links right then I need to get each link from the web page right how I can do that I can use a for loop there are two kinds of for loop for loop simple for loop and for each loop I'll show you for simple for loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than element list dot size and i plus plus I'll iterate from 0 to size of the list right and what I can do is I can get element list dot get i dot get attribute and what attribute I want href now I'll, I'll tell you what will happen here from this element list from this list of the elements I'm getting 
जीरोथ एलिमेंट इन द फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट इट्रेशन आई गेट जीरोथ एलिमेंट इन सेकेंड फर्स्ट इट्रेशन इन द सेकेंड इट्रेशन आई गेट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इन थर्ड इट्रेशन आई गेट सेकेंड एलिमेंट राइट सो लाइक वाइज आई गेट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स राइट एंड आउट ऑफ दैट एलिमेंट आई आई ट्राई टू गेट द एट्रीब्यूट एच आर एफ एच आर एफ इज नथिंग बट दिस वन सो दिस इज एच आर एफ दैट इज लिंक लिंक ऑफ द पेज right so i'll just display it again now okay now let us run this test case and let us see how many links are present on this web page it has opened this page and it must have counted the links can you see it has printed all the links can you see number of links present on the web page is 93 there are 93 links present on this web page and here you can see each and every link is printed right so that is how we can do a bulk extraction of the links right now if in the similar way if you wanted to know number of check boxes um okay number of radio buttons here right so just try to get the property here right now you can you see the radio <laughs> property type is radio right so now uh, let us say if you use input if you use xpath like input type is equal to radio now can you see four matching four matching nodes are found right so if if you use here like uh, list of uh, web element uh radio list is equal to driver dot find elements by xpath this right so in this radio list i will sorry i will get the list of radio buttons let me print that list number of radio buttons present is equal to a radio list dot size and let us iterate uh, this list now this time i'll show you how to use for each loop and for each loop what we do is we repeat uh, the loop for each element in the list right the syntax is type of the um, what i can say uh, variable let us say it is web element here web element and i'm giving a web el um, web element variable as a ele and colon and your radio list right this is type of this element and this is the list right this is list and we will be iterating this list by using this variable right so what we can do is now we can print ele dot um get uh, i'll get a text right now i will just f comment out this what the, what it will print it will just print a radio buttons i'll run this
Activation is done. No. Can you see number of radio buttons present is four? No. But when I when I did this get text, nothing is printed. Blank is printed. Why? Because the text text value is not given in this attribute right text value is not given in this attribute if I print like get uh, attribute and if I try to get a name attribute and if I print this then you can see Now can you see it has printed the names right name of the four radio buttons one two three four right so that is how we can get all links all radio button and in the similar way if you go to my blog automationtalks.com then here you can find extract all links from web page and you can find the code over here and here I have given like if you want to find number of drop downs then how you can find you can find by tag name select if you want to find number of text boxes you can find by like like this right so this is how you can find the number of um, objects present on your web page that is all links present on your web page or bulk extraction of your objects uh, okay that's it I have for this video 19 extracting all links uh, that is bulk extraction of objects um, for more videos keep referring my blog automationdocs.com do subscribe to my video channel thanks